All right, I think we should be up and running. I don't know why. I have the Ethernet cord in, but it's not connecting to the Ethernet cord, which is weird. So we'll see how this goes. All right. So I have all my measuring cups over here. I should start clearing this stuff out of the way. I don't need this just yet. Just need dry ingredients. Yeah, so for the people watching right now, is the connection okay or should it be a little bit better? Because for some reason it's connected to my Wi-Fi and not my Ethernet cord, even though the Ethernet cord is plugged in. I don't know why. Okay. Hello, hello. Sounds okay. Okay. Is the uh, connection perfect? Okay. You know what? We're just going to go with it. Even though I have my Ethernet cord plugged in, and it's just another thing to trip over for right now. So you guys will just let me know uh, if, uh, if anything changes. But um, this is a kind of long recipe, so I'm kind of just going to get into it right now. So first thing we have to do is mix together the dry ingredients. So this recipe is by a virtual vegan. I have the Actual recipe linked in the description, so you guys can check it out afterwards. Uh, Kara made this recipe before, so I, was, I knew it was good. So anyway, uh, two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to try not to get a bunch of flour all over my phone. <laughs> Oh, and I think I saw um, Jane Haddock is in here already. Like, because usually you're coming back from work around this time, so that's that's nice. Seems like you have a you have a day off today. All right, so that's two cups, half cup of cornmeal. Fundraising for what? What? Really? Um, is my my uh, thing still say fundraising? I don't think I changed the title from last time, did I? Nope, I didn't. Nope, this is not a fundraiser stream. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was it? Lemon blueberry loaf. Vegan. Ah! This is, it's, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I had to go change the title while this is streaming because that was the one thing I guess I forgot to change was the the title of the stream. So this is not a live stream for fundraising. <laughs> oh, yeah, the link is, um, uh, I think the link is just the recipe. So even if you did click on it, you know, because someone said they're glad they didn't click on it, but I don't, I don't think anything bad would happen if you clicked on it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's just the recipe. Here's the, yep. Okay, well, I'm glad I noticed that four minutes in and not like 20 minutes in after people have given me super chats. I'm, yeah, I'm really glad nobody gave me super chat thinking that it was a live stream. That's just one other thing I don't have to worry about giving money back to someone who, uh, <laughs> who, Donated thinking that was going to a fundraiser. Okay. Um, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. Nope, that's baking powder. Baking soda. So I'm just going to, since I don't have a three quarter teaspoon, I'm just going to do this three times. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Is 
Yeah, I'm really glad I came over there when I did and saw the, that comment from someone asking what it was fundraising for. And I was like, oh, no, I think I left it from the last last stream. And we're kind of running low on baking powder. I should probably text Kara to um, pick up some baking powder on the way home. Unless we have extra somewhere that I don't know about. Unless we have extra baking powder that I don't know about. I think we're almost out. Cool. All right, back to the recipe. A uh, half a teaspoon of fine salt. I think this is fine enough, right? Okay, so I think that's all the dry ingredients because the sugar actually goes in the wet. Yeah. Okay, so whisk this up. And you know what, let's turn the, the oven on too while we're waiting because it won't be too much longer, I don't think, before we can put it in. It just takes like at least 47 minutes for it to cook. So that's why I was saying this recipe might take a little bit. And then you have to wait for it to completely cool. It's just, it's a whole thing, you know, while I'm facing the other way. I got it. Where is this? Where does it say where the degrees is on here? I'm just going to guess that it's 350, but... Come on. Well, also, how come every blog, it like, every blogger shares their life story before they get to the recipe? You know? <sighs> come on. Why is it? There we go. 375. <laughs> I think it shouldn't be that hard to find just the degrees. Okay, uh, 375. Just gonna whisk that all together. All right, looks like we got a super chat from Mike Bows. Mike Bows? Mike Bows? Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Craigland Bay Nag. <laughs> what up, bro? What's going on, Kyle? They do that to suck you into their story. <laughs> okay. Do you guys uh, like having this second uh, camera over here, or do you guys just pay attention to the, the main camera anyway? Like, if I, am I doing too much work for something that people don't even notice <laughs> or do you guys like it and i'll do my best to remember to go over there in like 30 seconds to see what you guys say <laughs> okay so now i'm going to need another bowl I, I think I, I thought i got one out a little bit ago but i guess not Oh, we have another super chat from Happy Camper. Thank you for the $10 super chat. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. All of you guys, if you guys are sending donations, it just goes right back into the channel so I can pay for like the lights, the camera, all like equipment and stuff. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Okay. You like it, you like it, you like it. Okay, not enough beans. <laughs> I love the second camera. I love seeing the steps. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, thank you again for the super chat. Appreciate that. All right, now let's get back to the recipe. Okay, so I'll do half a cup of 
melted coconut oil. Um, 120 milliliters. So I'm going to melt some butter instead. Don't worry, it's vegan. It's earth balance. Oh, Kara said there's some under the cupboard. All right. That's good to know. All right, I had this out like when I was taking the thumbnail, I just kind of left it out, so it's a little soft. Let's see if that's half a cup. Melt that and go from there. All right, so we got that melting away. And then we're adding three quarters of a cup of sugar. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters. Oh, wow, yeah, that's about a half a cup. Cool. Perfect. Oh, how embarrassing. The spatch I'm looking for needs to be washed. I feel like I'm always washing something over here during the streams. Also, you know what I was thinking? Um, as long as I have my laptop charged uh, while it's cooking, I can actually do the dishes because I know people like seeing people clean stuff. So if you guys want to see me do the dishes um, while I'm hanging out with you guys, just write yay in the comments right there. Um, and if you just want me to hang out and not do the dishes, write nay. So yay dishes, nay, just hang out. I'll still be talking to you guys no matter what, though. Hanging out. All right. Let's add in a half cup of butter. Clearly a very healthy recipe. <laughs> I will probably have Kara bring this into Hercules um, because Kara and I are both trying to eat pretty healthy. Um, I'll maybe have like a slice or two and then I'm just like, you know what? Take this away, Kara. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> well, I mean, I do, but I shouldn't. Okay. Three quarters of a cup of unsweetened milk. Ah, right after I uh, put this in the sink, I need it again. All right. And then I believe I'm adding the zested lemons. Alright, looks like everyone's saying yay. Some people are saying nah. <laughs> yeah, actually I part of the reason I didn't do the coconut oil is because I feel like it's Probably the least healthy oil, although I feel like a lot of people think it's the most healthy oil. I don't think any oil is healthy, just, you know, like this. This is not a healthy recipe. <laughs> Plus, I feel like butter just tastes better anyway, so it's better and not... I say not as bad for you, but I think they're both bad for you. Okay... So before I squeeze the lemon, I'm going to zest it. I think I need, what, two lemons worth of zest? Two medium lemons worth of zest. Um, all right, this has got to be like a, these are pretty standard lemon sizes, I think. Let's 
see. This, yeah, this is probably the best, best thing. Oh, it smells good in here already. <sighs> smells nice and lemony. Ah, oh, that's a strong lemon smell. I mean, I'm into it though. So, for anyone who is watching, if I mean, you're probably familiar with my channel and know that often. Uh, when I make recipes, uh, or like, because I know a lot of recipe channels are like people who are actually good at like cooking and baking and like really know what they're doing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing a lot of times, and a lot of times, especially when I do live streams. I mean, sometimes when I do live streams, I I have made the recipe before. I've never made this recipe before, and I'm still confident that it'll come out okay because uh, this isn't like a super complicated recipe. Um, but for anyone watching, if you've ever like watched any of my videos or live streams and thought oh i'd like to make that but it seems too complicated like it's not if you like once you start actually doing it it's really not that bad like as long as you're measuring stuff pretty much everything comes out okay and like it, all of the blogs and stuff out they all have like descriptions or like instructions so as long as you're following the instructions it's hard to mess up too bad and even if you do like you just learned the importance of adding dry ingredients after the wet or you learn the importance of the right temperature or <laughs> cooking things for as long as they're supposed to. So like, even if you mess up, like you, you learn something in the process. So it'll probably make you a better cook or a uh, baker in the long run anyway. So I don't really think there's anything to lose by trying a recipe that you think might be just a little bit out of reach for you. You know, just my thoughts. I just know that you guys can do it. For the few people out there who don't believe in themselves as far as cooking goes. But I know a lot of you guys are better at cooking and baking than I am. And I don't need to tell you that. Because I do like having um, subscribers who know more about me. Because then I can, like, especially when I'm, like, watching a live stream. If I'm, like, not sure about what exactly to do. I can just ask one of you guys. And there's usually, like, you know, two, three hundred people watching. So... Of them, like maybe 10, 20 people really know what they're doing a lot. So it's nice to be able to just ask the experts. I'm trying to get as much of the, the outside on here without getting too much of this, just the white. So I'm like really cutting it in my hands over here holding this, so. Grab a knife, I guess. Use the flat end of the knife. Get it all out. Oh, that's pretty much everything. All right. Grass bed butter. <laughs> Uh, I was grating lemons for lemon zest. Alright, looks like there's a war in the comments about uh, oil. Alright, so we got the lemon zest. Let's see, let's do the lemon juice, quarter cup of lemon juice. And I keep getting this dirty and I keep needing it. Alright. Yeah, I gotta stop putting stuff in the sink because I keep using the same thing afterwards anyway. All right. 
point. All right, so when I'm when I'm uh, juicing lemons, this is what I do. People have told me that I'm this is not how you're supposed to do it, um, but I've I've been told that I'm supposed to juice it like this. But I like juicing the lemons like this because this is where the holes are, you know. So that's 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 how I always juice it anyway. And I feel like you're when you're doing this, you're kind of like making it, like squeezing it inside out. So I feel like you're just gonna get more out of it. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to. Um, zest it first. I don't know. It just seems like I didn't get as much out of it as I would usually. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that much. And then often I'll just stack them to really squeeze them. Maybe that's why, because there's not as much of just lemon in there for it to squeeze. I still got a lemon seed in there. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, it's about a quarter cup. Let's see if we can squeeze a little more out of these ones too. Just stick them all in here. Okay, I can't fit all of them. I'm definitely getting more out. Right. Yeah, it's a quarter cup. All right, finally. Oh no, I put the ah, there's a lemon seed in there. Oh no. Well, I'm sure baking it will soften it up. So. Let's see if I can, oh, there's so much sugar and stuff in here. Uh, this might be a lost cause trying to find a lemon seed. Well, whoever finds the lemon seed wins. I'm pretty sure it gets like, it would soften up though if you cook it, right? Hmm, tastes like weird lemonade. You like the mixing bowl? Yeah, that's a really nice mixing bowl, Kara got. The it's like a ceramic one. It's really really nice. Cause we had like some plastic ones that would like just like suction to the to the countertop. It looks like we have a super chat from Jane, twenty dollars. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Now, now that there are plenty of viewers, I can give my proper hello. Hi, Craig. Uh, hardworking mods and beloved viewers, happy Friday. Well, thank you, Jane, and thank you for moderating as always. I can never give up cheese, every vegan ever. Yeah, before I went, yeah, lemon seeds don't hurt. Yeah, yeah, before I went vegan, that's that's what I said too. How come your name and your channel and you are vegan, and how did you come up with the name? I want to know, please and thank you. Do do a live. And do you do live stream? I really love your shirt. Um, yeah, so how come uh, basically I just came up with the name for my channel because egg rhymed with Craig and I don't eat eggs, so no I Craig. All right, so I think then I'm going to mix them all together, and then I believe I just fold in the blueberries. OK. 
Okay, yeah, just pour the wet into the dry, stir, just stir it together, not overly so. Okay, I can do that. Alright, so now I'm just going to basically fold this in without without mixing it too much, what I've, uh, what I've heard. For the people who are better than me at baking and know more about it, why why just like fold stuff together just until it's mixed together and like no lumps? Why not like really mix it? Like what happens if you really mix it? I think I've heard that it makes it tougher or something like that, but I don't know for sure. I still see some like dry lumps and stuff though. Alright, this is pretty good. So, oh, now I have to wash the blueberries. A lot of blueberries. All right. I can't think of any other naturally blue food. Can you guys? All I know is blueberries. All right. Scoop a couple of blueberries. Heck yeah. Oh, that looks so cool. I really like just like the, the like pale yellow and like blue mixed together. It just looks so nice. I think actually the loaf pans are over here. Are they? No? I'm really the only one who used the loaf pans, so I should know where they are. I showed Kara how to make bread once, but she hasn't made any. Elderberries. Oh, okay. I guess those are blue. Blue grapes. What? Blue spirulina. Blue raspberries. I feel like blue raspberry is not a real thing. It's like a fake... It's like a fake flavor. All right. So the recipe suggested taking some, like a, just a thin strip of, of uh, parchment paper. It's going to sound like this so that then you can just lift the the loaf out when it's done. It's 
see, should I still spray the sides? All right, so this is again where I wanna ask my viewers, do I have to spray the sides or do you think I'm good with, uh, with just using that uh, parchment paper? It can make it tough. Okay, yeah, so that was my question. They answered my question from like a minute ago, or 10. <laughs> bloobs and Trevor you're right. I like to call them bloobs too. Blue potatoes, okay, yeah, yeah. I've had purple ones. No, you mustn't. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna do it like this. We've already got a bunch of butter in here anyway. You know what, I should move this closer so you guys can see. <laughs> And then we're gonna top with some more blueberries. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got a good amount of it. Oh man, I always end up with so many dishes afterwards. But yeah, that is, if you guys are okay with letting me do the dishes while I'm still live streaming, that would actually really cut down on my cleaning time a lot. Especially since it's going to be, I don't know why it said 47 to 55 minutes. It's a very specific amount of time, but hey, that's what it says. You know what, I should also try this. Mm, the lemon is really coming through. Wow. That's going to be good both. All right. More bloobs. I like to really throw them in there so they get stuck. Just with like chocolate chips too, and like if I've made banana bread, ooh, it's good. Couple more. All right, I think it's mostly good. I feel like I'm going to keep saying, okay, I think it's good, and I'm going to find a couple bare spots. So we're just going to keep adding more until it's all just one big blueberry. Let's see. All right, now I'm just going to cut myself off right there, all right? So 375, I believe it said 47 to 55 minutes. So we will double-check that before I throw her in. Heck. Okay. Yep, 47 to 55 minutes. All right, so we're going to do 47 minutes and we're going to check on it. Ooh, that looks so good. All right, 47 minutes. Put the booter away. Violins with blooms. That sound. Oh, you guys could hear the the plopping sound of the blueberries. Aggressive blooming. <laughs> Want the bloobs on top burn? I have never made it before, but maybe. Craig likes to make things look aesthetically pleasing. I hope get, yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely gonna do the icing. Uh, right. Uh, what I am gonna do though first, I'm gonna go grab a headband because my hair just keeps getting in the way. So I will be right back. All right, sorry that took so long. Jeez, I was gone for so long. All right. So, maybe I should, I'll make the icing before I do the dishes. Okay, so. Let's see what we got here. 
That was my Italian accent. Our wide open what the heck? Lot is full at the used Stop making noise. <laughs> I did not ask for your ad to be in my video. Okay. For the frosting, so you're going to need more, more lemon juice. Man, so much lemon juice. Right. I think we just mix it together, though. I'm not even going to look up the instructions. I looked it up earlier today. So three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, which I don't really use that often. Why did the headband... Why did you buy a headband that's in 180p? <laughs> um, oh wait, does, do things look uh, super pixelated right now, or what? All right, see you, Hench. All right, uh, powdered sugar, white granulated sugar. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Nope. Okay. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Nope, oh, right here. Oh no! I hope I have enough. Well, uh, we'll use as much as we can. Didn't get a notification. And time to get away, but here I am. All right, well, thank you for being here, Tawny, and thanks for the super chat. I appreciate that. The headband looks like textures that didn't load. <laughs> all right, so three quarters of a cup. We'll see if I have all that, hopefully. Okay, so it's 95 grams. So let's actually measure it out to the gram. Because I don't know if I have quite enough. No, I don't. Okay. All right. So, 65 grams. So, 65 out of 95. That's like, what, like 66%? So, we'll just do like two-thirds of the amount for... Um, you know, let's start with two tablespoons of lemon juice. We'll just go from there. Oh, and I'm almost out of lemon juice, too. Well, I know we have another lemon juice, but I'm going to have to open up another one because I don't want to... Um, I don't want to juice any more lemons. Oh, man, we got so much lemon juice. We got, like, two bottles. Wookie dookie. To clean that later too. Got some some food on it. All right. Oh, it's almost exactly one tablespoon. Well, that's like really soaking it up. All right.
So I said that um, I'm just supposed to just keep mixing it even when it seems like it's too thin. It, like eventually if you just keep whipping it, it'll turn into the glaze that you need. I will see what you guys are up to. How thick is this loaf gonna be? <laughs> whip it, whip it good, yeah. Uh, we will find out how thick it's gonna be. Did you travel to the 80s? <laughs> Do you play Skyrim? I have not in a while, but I have sunk many, many hours into Skyrim. Too many. I'd often get to like level 58 and go, you know what? I'm just going to start over. <laughs> I would say orcs are my favorite characters to play as because their greater power is just like so overpowered. It's just like, it's ridiculous. But I've played as a wood elf. I've played as a Khajiit. I've played as a red guard, a Breton, a Nord, I think, and, a, and a high elf. And Dark Elf. I've played as almost everything. <laughs> and honestly, like with Skyrim, there's not too much of a difference. If you were to play like Oblivion or Morrowind, there's a big difference in each character, but it's not too much of a difference in the characters in Skyrim, other than like maybe, like I said, their greater powers. But this is not a Skyrim stream, so I guess we'll get back to cooking. All right, so I, I'm hoping that's good. Mm. Wow, that is like a really sweet lemonade. <laughs> I kindly handed months of my life to Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Orc gang, yeah, yeah. So you you like playing as an orc, Vegeta? Who you? What kind of character do you play as? Next recipe: sweet rolls. <laughs> Let me guess, somebody stole your sweet roll? All right, let's move. You know what, apparently this isn't even using the ethernet cable, so I'm just gonna unplug it, because it's using the Wi-Fi anyway, so hopefully that shouldn't do anything. And now I'm going to move my laptop, maybe we'll move my laptop to here. I can probably turn this off. I can put my camera over here, somewhere precarious, you know? Something like that. Nice action shot, yeah. <laughs> I played different races. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fun to just like play different, uh, the different races and characters and stuff. You look shaggy, yeah. <laughs> you played Skyrim three times through? Yeah, I, uh, I didn't really play the main quest too much. I definitely finished it a couple times. Um, but a lot of times it was just like the side quest, or like I wouldn't even finish, I wouldn't even get anywhere near finishing until like I don't know level 30 something because <laughs> I just always wanted to go to like you know the bandits let's see how much battery do I have left on here 48 percent that's not bad all right let's move this over here let's unplug the laptop first while you guys get motion sick All right. I could, now I've done this before. It's kind of pre precarious. So what I could do is I could put this up here, looking down at me doing the dishes. What do you, what do you kids say to that? Oh, there's a cord right there. I don't know. I could see that falling just because of the cord. It's weighted down though nicely, actually. But I'm going to I'll just clear a spot over here. Please don't endanger the camera. <laughs> kind of come like on a roller coaster. <laughs> All right, so.
Yeah, so I've actually done that for um for a video before because like the the tripod itself is heavy enough, and I also have some kind of like heavier bowls up here that kind of like anchor it down. So it's actually not not too bad. Just gonna clear off some space, and I can put you guys over here. So do you guys want to see my face when I'm doing the dishes or do you want to see the dishes being done? Maybe it's just I'm gonna point down to the dishes. Motion sickness, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what happens when I try to set up the camera live. <laughs> Lemon black bean loaf. <laughs> Face, make it both. So if I do make it both, I'd have to, I could do it like further away, I guess, because that's really the only way to do it. Because it's zoomed out as much as it can. It's just hard figuring out live where I'm going to put everything. Because usually, if I'm making a video, I have time to like think where I want to put everything, but Time is like more of the essence when you're live streaming, so your brain gets kind of scrambled. All right, I think I think I'm in the. My head's chopped off. You know what? My head's just chopped off. Okay. <laughs> Washing dishes content. Yeah. <laughs> See, I got something in my pocket. I got styrofoam in my pocket. Who put that there? I bet that was Vegeta who put that there. He would put styrofoam in my pocket while I was sleeping. Classic Vegeta. That's a lot of dishes. It's actually not even too bad. It's like mostly like these two big bowls, and that's like half the dishes. <laughs> okay, so let's pull up my own live stream so I can see your guys' comments while I'm doing the dishes with my head chopped off. Ooh, blueberries. Now we can't see that in the amazing headband. Oh, those blueberries. Mm -mm -mm. I love blooms. Is that better? You can, I'll just do the dishes like this. Is that good? <laughs> okay. Blueberries in a blue bowl. And I'll try not to eat them all in one sitting. Oops. I love <laughs> bluebies. All right, now, first mission, find the sponge. I think I got knocked down here. Yeah, I got knocked down here. Usually, I like to keep it up here. You know what? I'm going to turn the sound down so you guys don't just hear like a bunch of clanking. You guys let me know if it's down too low. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I need to adjust it over here. There we go. Dylan's here. You ate the garnish. <laughs> oh, it's like focusing on the knives, I think. You know what? I think I can make it focus on me. Hold on. Uh, see, there's there's like 10 things you're trying to do at once whenever you're live streaming. It's rough, okay? Feel bad for me. All right, let's focus on that. Hopefully that worked. Yeah, I think that worked. 
some bell bottom pants. <laughs> The mod squad has strength in numbers. <laughs> yeah, I think it's all, like the last like several comments have all been moderators. <laughs> I have no dishwasher either. So I, I technically, although a lot of people will probably think I'm a psycho, but um. I, we do have a dishwasher, but it's not, it's like one of the ones that you have to hook up to the sink. So then the sink is monopolized for like two hours and also just like uses so much more energy and water than just like, all right, I would, I'll just do the dishes. There's not really that many right now. Anyway. Like I said, it's mostly just like these two massive dishes that make it look like there's a lot. How come you don't eat eggs? Uh, when am I going to get my hair cut? I don't know when I'm going to get my hair cut. Um, I don't know exactly how long I want it to be, but I don't want to cut anytime soon. Um, I don't have to trip over that. And what was the other question? How come I don't eat eggs? Because I'm vegan. And I did use the eggs before I was vegan. Which dish soap do you prefer? Um, Wagmans. Whatever is cheap. Favorite spices for making vegan dishes? Garlic. Garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. I would say smoked paprika and garlic are probably my favorite. Actually, yeah, if you guys want to do like rapid fire, like quick, quick questions, quick answers, I think that'd be fun while I'm doing the dishes. Because all the comments come pretty quick. So if you ask short questions, I'll probably be more likely to see them. I'm waiting for Craig to have more longer hair than Max and assert his dominance. His day will come. Have you been running recently? No, I've, bo I've mostly been lifting. Um, and like for cardio, I... I've been mostly walking, just like for like an hour or so, and I listen to like an audio book. And a lot of you guys recommended um, Atomic Habits by James Clear, and I cannot thank you enough. That is a very good book. I really like that book. Um, and then some other people recommended The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Hack. Um, I started listening to that, but I didn't really like it, so... I, I listened to that for like an hour, and then I was like, I don't think so. It's not my kind of book. Banish to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Will you donate your hair? I don't know if I'm going to cut it or keep it that long, so who knows. You started yoga too, right? Yeah, so, uh, well, I mean, I started yoga like two and a half years ago, so I spent a while. Do you play any instruments? No, I used to play guitar when I was growing up, um, but after like a year or so of that, I was like, music's just not for me. Um, I I don't really listen to music that much. Like a, a lot of times, I would rather um, listen to like a podcast or something or like an audio book. Um, not that I don't listen to music, but it's I don't know. I could music isn't like my favorite, I guess. Any podcast you're listening to. Um, oh, so Office Ladies. I, I really wanted to like it, and, but I don't know. I think it's just like when they did like their ad reads. Like, okay, so when Jenna and Julian do their ad reads, for those of you guys who have seen their um, podcast, they're like very genuine. And they're like, they don't break from the podcast. And they just like fluently just like they just go from the podcast of the ad back to the podcast whereas like it feels like a like a commercial break when the office ladies were doing it and it was like i swear it was like every 10 minutes instead of like the jen and julian podcast they'll do it like once during an hour podcast and then also just like the way that they were talking it just felt like very forced and kind of fake i think just because they're so used to doing 
TV and like acting and stuff like that. It's just like podcast is a completely different thing. Um, so I really wanted to like it, but mainly just because of those things, I was just like getting frustrated and I was like, I, I don't, I'm not having fun. So I like the Jenna Julian podcast, the H3 podcast. I'll check in every now and then. Who played the, the flute? So um, nobody played the flute or recorder um, for, well, no one that I know played it. Um, Jane is talking about the video that I made of Ben and Jerry's where there was um, a really bad rendition of Harry Potter. I just typed in um, Harry Potter recorder, and that's just what popped up. So I got that from YouTube. So if you type in Harry Potter recorder, that'll, uh, Harry Potter theme recorder maybe, um, that'll come right up and you'll see exactly what I did. Or what I used. The heck, how do I get back to the comments? I lost you guys. There we go. Produce not pills. I'm just laughing at what you said. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it sounds entertaining. How come you don't wash the outside of your dishes? I do. I don't spend as much time because I I don't eat on the outside of them, <laughs> so they don't get as dirty. But I do wash the outside, just not that much. Two Lindas. Oh no. Can't have two Lindas? Yeah, I really don't spend very much time washing out the dishes because I don't know. I just, you don't eat on the outside of them. What store would you pick? Out of Aldi, TJ, and Wegmans. Um, I guess like for specialty stuff, Wegmans and Trader Joe's. For price, Aldi. Um, if I could, if I had to pick one to shop for the rest of my life, I mean, I guess it would depend. Like in this alternate universe, do I have unlimited money? Because if that's the case, I'll just go to Wegmans. But if I don't, I'm probably gonna go to Aldi because I don't want to spend every paycheck that I get just at Wegmans. <laughs> Because it costs like three times as much money to go shopping wagons. Wish we had wagons. Yeah, wagons. Pretty, pretty, pretty great. Do you have any pets growing up? No, uh, we had fish. They're mine. I had fish. And I will not have fish again. They were just annoying. I just had to sprinkle food in there once a day and didn't do anything. When do we see videos from Hercules? In July, after the 4th of July. My mom has said that they have, the orders have started to slow down, but my mom is also trying to automate some things and she needs some time to figure out how to do that. Like in Shopify, there's like something called fulfilling orders. I don't know exactly what that is, but I know that my mom has to do it. Um, and if she gets that thing figured out, then that'll basically eliminate several hours of work for her from her plate like every day. So she's trying to get that all figured out. And then... You should be able to post more often. So, Uniquely Yours sent a super chat, $50. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to entertain us, Craig. Well, thank you, Uniquely, for showing up and donating and just hanging out. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. You're very generous, Uniquely. Cannot say thank you enough. Hmm. 
the best item to buy from Hercules. Um, hmm. A vegan, uh, let's see, the potato chip bark. It's really good. Um, some of the, like, the cool, uh, flavored hard candies are really good. So I guess it depends what you want. If you like chocolate, I would say the, um, potato chip bark. If you like just hard candy, like Jolly Rancher type things, then I would say maybe like the watermelon hard candy. Really good. Strawberry lemonade. Really good, especially this time of year. Very refreshing. Do me and my sister plan on taking over the business? Kara will probably take over the business. Um, I have no ambition of taking over Hercules, though. Just not something that I want to do. Mom and dad are good, yeah. They're just very busy. <laughs> Everyone's good. Oh, that pecan brittle. Yeah, yeah, chocolate-covered pecan brittle is super good. I can't, okay, I changed my mind. That, that might be the best thing. How much do we charge for Steve and Mom Dre autograph? Well, okay, when you write Steve, are you writing Steve as a joke, or do you write, or do you mean to write Steve in your phone autocorrect you? I don't know. Um, no, like, if people, if people order, and they say that they want an auto, like, people to autograph, like, um, a piece of paper or a hat that they buy or a hoodie or something, then we just do it. We don't, we don't charge people. It's just a signature. Is it still locked down there? Um, yeah, it is. Uh, we're in phase three, which if you're in another part of the world, you're probably like, what the heck is... Hey, Steve, just to sound funny. Okay, that's what I thought. Um... <clears throat> We're in phase three out of technically, I guess there's phase four, but gyms don't even open in phase four. So there's like phase five that somehow also exists, but no one is talking about it's a conspiracy. Um, because I am super ready for gyms to open back up. I feel like I've been pretty consistent with uh, working out though. So I'm happy with it. But I would much rather squat with an actual bar instead of just, I don't know, doing one-legged squats or uh, squatting with like a backpack with like 30 pounds on, you know? <laughs> it's not the same as like squatting with like 135 pounds. Look, <laughs> you don't have to buy the, the candy or the autograph, so you can just buy candy and then just ask for them, so even better. Gotta go make strawberry pie. Nice. Sounds cool. Sounds good. <laughs> um, my mom's favorite color is purple. West Virginia and gyms are open here. Ah, oh, nice. I wish they were here. Yeah, the I. I have 30 pound dumbbells, I like the heaviest. I have 30 pound, I have 20 pound, and 10 pounds. But like even when I was just doing like shoulder, like overhead press, I did like 20 reps earlier today. I was like, one. I was like, I just want to get back to the gym so I can do like eight to 12. You love my videos? Thanks, Zoe. Sorry, was AFK for a moment. Well, nobody killed you, so you're still alive. You haven't respawned. Cool musical sync. <laughs> it, messed, it just made your day that you got the message back from my mom, yeah. Well, that's her job. <laughs> Getting back to you guys. Looks like I'm the perfect roommate. <laughs> it looks like that. 
I'm sure Kara would beg to differ. You are awesome at dishes. <laughs> I think you guys have uh, pretty low standards. Craig, are you playing any online games? No, I haven't even played any video games recently. I've been, like, when I do have spare time, um, I've been reading. I just finished The Shining, which was, like, without giving away any spoilers, no spoilers. Um, I just kind of felt like at times it just went on for a long time, especially, like, at the end. Um, although I feel like the end of the book was pretty good. Um, and there just seemed like there was a lot of things that were explained that I was like okay that doesn't really move the story forward any like I'm I was kind of annoyed I was like okay I'm just gonna like skim through this part because it doesn't really seem very important yeah it was a long book for me anyway I'm not a fast reader <laughs> get my hair braided before I cut it's I'll have to wait a little bit <laughs> the shining is one of your favorite books Craig is a nice vegan <laughs> <laughs> Do not a sink voltage there. Do you still listen to Johnny D? Yeah, I like using his music for my videos. Those are they're good. I also got more dishes over here. Let's see. Wait, do I? No, I just have stuff to pick up over here. I think I did all the dishes though. Um I guess I gotta rinse out this lemon juice bottle. You got one shot, <laughs> one chance, one opportunity. Yeah, shipping is a lot, and unfortunately, my parents have no control over that. Actually, it's cheaper than it would be because my parents have a deal with FedEx and UPS, so it would actually be even more expensive if they didn't have that. Um, but yeah, it uh, it crushes our heart just as much as it crushes yours. Because there's a lot of people who I think would like to order, but it's just it, it's it's a lot of money, and I I get it. You eat more bloobs. Next video from Hercules is after Fourth of July. Because my parents want to make sure that when they come back from Fourth of July July weekend, they're not like, oh my God, why are there so many orders? The Invisible Vegan. No, I've never even heard of that. put everything away wow if i play my cards right i may have to do almost no cleaning after the live stream i kind of like cleaning on stream with you guys do you guys like uh seeing me clean <laughs> do the dishes Thank you, L. Lorraine, for the $10 super chat. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Okay, I got to clean up the sink. I'm gonna clean up the spaghetti sauce structure. Yeah, this jar is like really hard to get all the sauce out. Um, just because like there's like ridges. This makes it tough. But uh, thanks again, Lorraine, for the super chat. I really do appreciate that. And I like that all, all my moderators always like thank people when they get super chats because it's really generous when people do that. So thank you. All right, we got another 11 minutes. Yeah, having a spray attachment is super nice. Um, so after this apartment, I'm hoping um, next year, so I think our lease ends at the end of June and we sign for another year, but I'm hoping by uh, the end of 
the lease that I can find a house to move into. I'd like to, um, I'd like to have a house that like I can buy for like relatively cheap and like put some work into it. Um, although I've never really done any home renovations or anything, so this it would be like a way for me to learn. So I would not want to like get in over my head and get a place that needs a lot of work, more like a place that maybe has a kitchen that looks like it's from the seventies and I just want to update it, you know, stuff like that. Like just things that like, it could look nicer, but not like the building's going to fall apart. You got to redo all the electric. I'm like, Oh, I don't want to. We're all poor. Don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, we are. And renovation videos, yeah, uh, well, if I did renovation videos, I might start another channel for that. <laughs> Have I ever thought of starting a community garden in my area? No, because I don't really like the garden myself, so, so no. <laughs> Gardening is not really my thing. Don't want a money pit, that's for sure, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, I would probably want to have B or someone like pay someone to come with me to like look at the house, check out the foundation, inspect the roof, like someone who knows more than I do because I don't really know that much. So then I can just like hopefully watch YouTube videos about how to just repaint things, install a better sink or whatever, just like simpler things. And then maybe I can, because what I was thinking is like, so this is just what I've thought of right now, I haven't put a whole lot of research into it. So maybe someone who's done this can let me know. Um, but what I was thinking is I could do like live in flips. So I could like buy a house for, you know, not that much, put some money into it, live in there for a couple of years and then flip it buy another house. Um, that is a little bit more expensive, but still needs some work, put some work into it, flip that and then buy an even bigger house. And like, eventually I'll get to like, where I can just buy a turnkey house with like a really nice house just from the work that I put in over the years of fixing up the other houses that kind of paid for it. You know, does that make sense? Just like live in flips. All right, I'm gonna put these blueberries away before I eat them all in one thing. I want future Craig people to enjoy them too. You could do that, but be careful with the economy. Be sure to get a competent home inspection. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, I would definitely want to have someone else um, come in and look at the house with me. Yeah, yeah. Someone said, uh, um, YouTube is an awesome place to learn to do anything. Um, I learned how to, you know, I'm just going to face the camera. You know, I'll face it this way so it's not faced directly into the, into the light so you can actually see me. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to come back over here. <laughs> come on, cords. God. Why is there so many cords? Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. I was like, I would just uh, learn stuff from YouTube and then maybe have B come over and like teach me how to do some stuff too. <laughs> yes, I, Linda, you're right. I do hope future Craig thanks me for not eating all the bloobs. <laughs> or you could order a whole bunch of Cybertrucks instead of houses and make videos on that adventure full self-driving into the new real estate are you gonna buy a vegan mansion so i can't move in you wish current crap likes blueberries yes i can agree to that wajita is funny all right you guys want to see inception of you guys hold on wait for it wait for it they cover up my face too. <laughs> Is it delay? Wait. Give me another me. <laughs> All right. 
Dragon beans? I've never heard of that. Watch most of my videos from day one. Oh, please not day one. Maybe go back like two years. That's okay. But any, any, many much more than like two to three years is pretty cringy. The Incredible Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch this too, actually. Uh, so there's another channel that I found um, recently called Homemade Home, where the guy just does like one man home renovations. I showed it to Max because Max really wants he wants to get a fixer upper that's like a lot more work than I do. Um, so I, I sent him that that channel. So if anyone is into home renovating, uh, homemade I think it's Homemade Home. I think that's what it's called. Um, that's uh, it's a really great channel. The guy is just like nonchalantly very hilarious uh it's, he's like one of those people who like he doesn't seem like he realizes that he's funny but he says funny stuff like every couple minutes it's pretty funny um plus you just learn a lot because he actually like knows what he's doing and like he buys like twelve thousand dollar houses and flips them and stuff or he'll, like rent them out Single handedly bringing back headphones. What is the first video you ever posted? The first video I ever posted was on another channel. Um, it was about getting IVIG, which is the medication that I got to um, help me walk again. And then after that, it was like how to avoid the side effects of prednisone, which is another drug that I had to be on. And then after that, it was I just did like a six-minute story of my CID2 story, but I didn't know how to show emotions on camera, and I didn't think that anyone would necessarily understand my sense of humor. Like I, so I just didn't. I thought that people would maybe take it the wrong way, so I just didn't. Uh, so I didn't. Um, I, I don't think it was a very good video because of that. Where does that YouTuber live? He lives somewhere in the south, I think. He has a southern accent anyway, so that's what I think. Huh. We live in a tiny house community. Lots of millennials and age 60 plus folk, and it's great. Nice owning a newer small home that is paid for. Yeah, yeah. I personally would like to have um, a little bit more space, though, because growing up, my bedroom, I'm not exaggerating. My bedroom, I measured it recently. It was like about 50 square feet. So I really value having more space now. <laughs> I really enjoy my sense of humor. Thanks. Yeah, I, I looking back, I'm like, yeah, people would understand my sense of humor. Like, I guess um, I didn't think that it would translate that well through the internet. Like, I, I knew that people would get it, like, got it in real life. I just didn't think that people would get, like, my sarcasm and stuff in, in videos. So I just wasn't, I wasn't myself for, like, Several years, not even several, maybe like three years, but probably the first two, three years on YouTube because I was just kind of emulating other people. Um, I didn't really know how to channel myself because it's, it's, it sounds so dumb unless you've actually done it. Um, but I mean, especially back then when social media wasn't really a thing, because a lot of people who, um, who don't have like YouTube channels, they have sent a Snapchat or an Instagram story to like their friend or something like that. But that wasn't really a thing back when I started YouTube. Um, I don't think, uh, our cans is my lifestyle. Yeah. So I don't think Instagram was even invented when I started YouTube. I don't think anyway. Um, so I had like no experience talking into a camera. So it was weird because like, you spend your whole life either being by yourself or talking to other people. Um, but then if you're shooting a video often, you are by yourself talking into an inanimate object, but knowing that hundreds, if not thousands of people are going to be watching in the future. It's just like a weird mind bending thing you have to like navigate when you first start doing it. So it's, it's, 
it's more challenging to be yourself than you'd expect in those types of videos. That's what I found out. Anyway. Oh no, my uh, my video or my thing is gonna die soon. Let's see the receiver. So I think it's this thing. I'm gonna go get my portable charger and hopefully that'll help things. Hopefully, this helps. Got my portable charger here. It should come out in, oh, it's got 15 seconds. Oh, thanks. Liz Linzer Tube. Is your most viewed video? Um, I think it's a candy making video. Like, the first candy making video that I ever uh, made was on this channel actually. Shh, we get it. Um, and then eventually after doing like 10 or so candy making videos and a bunch of people saying they liked it, I was like, you know what, I'll just start a candy making channel. Oh, this looks like it's done. Let's see. With the toothpicks. I would bring you guys over here, but time is at the essence. Oh, I think that's definitely done. Oh yeah, she came out clean as heck. All right. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Okay. I'll bring this back over here. Oh no, this battery says it's going to die too. All my batteries are dying. Alright. After this, I'll do a quick battery swap. Look at that though. Hmm? Oh, heck yeah. Alright, battery swap though. Alright. Say goodnight. And I'll say good morning. All right, got 100% battery. Should be good for another couple hours. Although, I probably won't be streaming for that long. All right, so let's take this out of here, put this on a cooling rack, so it'll cool as quickly as possible. I'm gonna put, you know what? If you're wearing headphones, I would just maybe take them out of your ears for the next five to 10 seconds or so. And let's zoom out so you can basically when I'm done taking the um, cooling rack out of down here, then you can put your headphones back in. All right, three, two, one. Oh, wait, I already got the cooling rack out. All right, put your headphones back in. Although, if they were out, you probably didn't hear me say that. I guess that's good. All right, so the reason I'm putting a pan out in there here is because I'm going to be icing um, afterwards, after it's all cooled down. So don't want to get icing everywhere. Maybe I don't need these gloves. I'm picking up the paper. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll wait for it to cool down a little bit. It looks like it's moving too much. <laughs> Oh, Jesse, you're making it along with me? <laughs> it says, LOL, mine looks like I can't even describe. <laughs> All right. Uh, if I leave this here, and I'll even zoom in for you guys. Um, I'm going to take a bathroom break. Make sure nobody touches that, okay? I will be right back, and if anybody comes in and asks where I am, I just let them know that I will be back in just a couple minutes.
All right, I'm back. I have a charger for this over here. All right, so now I will not run out of battery for either one. Okay, let's see. There's a super chat. Um, is it 200 Mexican dollars? So is that 200 pesos? From Mexico with love. Either way, thank you. Hold on. Either way, thank you, Tanya. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. So it says it says MX and it, there's like a dollar sign. Is there so that like Mexican dollars or like I don't know like are pesos not the is that I don't I don't I don't know Mexican currency. <laughs> but either way, thank you. I really do appreciate that. Ten hours later. <laughs> At least that flower isn't on the edge of the table. Yeah, I put that away. I'm ex is Mexican peso. Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if it was like if there's like pesos, because I think in um, in England there's like what like pounds, quid. I heard people say pence too. I'm like I don't I don't know what that is. She sent you eight sixty eight. Well, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Craig, do you watch vegan as fork? No, I don't. I don't really watch any other. Uh, I don't watch too many other vegan YouTube channels because I'm already vegan. You know, I don't, I don't need, um, I mean, I might like check out like a recipe or like, I think Brian Turner is just like a funny guy. So I'll like watch his videos. Um, and like sometimes he has, uh, ideas for, um, like a higher protein type diet, which I've been trying to do. So I'm trying to get some gains, get huge, get swole. 100 pence in a pound. Okay, so it's kind of like 100 pennies to a dollar. All right. Quid is slang for pound. Okay. Pence is more like cents. Oh, okay. Pence, cents. <laughs> you don't watch Chris and John? No, so I always say that I don't watch that many vegan YouTubers, and I'm like, okay, other than like Derek Simnet and Brian Turner and Chris and John, and like, I don't know, and I'll like list other people, like, okay, I guess I do. But no, I don't really spend much time watching them but if i do watch any channels i'll watch those channels or veggie can she's like a personal friend of mine so i'll watch hers or vegan bodega cat see so like i do watch channels just not that often i guess is what i would say all right do you guys want uh you guys want the green screen I was thinking of doing like maybe a blueberry field or something, you know, you know, you know. <sighs> have you guys ever gone blueberry picking? I have, and it's time consuming. <laughs> Yes, green <laughs> Blueberry field forever. Oh, well, this blueberry field is like red. What the heck? Okay. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's type in blueberry fields unsplash. So I can get like a high quality image. Okay, I typed in blueberries and I came up with grapes. So <laughs> like Concord grapes. Which are like bluish. Maybe I could just be in maybe I could just be in blueberries. You could do that. Right? No, I'm just going to type in blueberries then instead.
blueberries. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so now he's got to bring the picture in here. Oh, wait, no, I gotta bring live screen. Live screen. <laughs> uh, green screen in here first. No, I'll open it in here so I don't bash anything. Although there's stuff to bash in here too. <sighs> Got some fuzzies on here. How embarrassing. I wish I could like straighten this out. So that's kind of what I get with like a foldable one, you know? Pros and cons to every different type of green screen. Alright, chair. More blueberries for the road. Come on in front of you. See? Would you eat up future Craig exists? Right, all right, all right. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I should sit closer to this. I guess that's good. All right. So then, take this Sony. See if my head's chopped off. <laughs> Barely. All right, I guess that's good. Okay. Now, time to make me disappear. Ah! Ah! Okay. Image. Blueberries. Blues. Wow. There we go. We did it. Almost. Now we did it. <laughs> you know, I got a good mic. Where's my phone? I don't know where I put my phone. Oh, oh there it is. All right, live stream's still going. 
I've been neglecting you guys. I'm trying to set up the screen. Oh boy. Let's see what happens to my pot holder that's green too, yeah. <laughs> I have a headband that's got like some green in it. Should I switch to that? Steve hates blueberries. Wow, you're good. That's still pretty warm. But yeah, this is the uh, <laughs> this is the um, the oven minute from uh, Sandra. Pretty cool. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> See through. All right, um, let's see if this is cool enough to be able to lift it up. Oh, all right, cool. Now hopefully it'll uh, cool down a little bit faster. You gotta wait for it to cool all the way before you can uh, put the glaze on it. So let's stick this in the sink so it can soak. Let's just stick it behind the blueberries. water and uh, I got a spoon or a fork because I don't know exactly how to put the glaze on I mean I'm not doing it yet I gotta wait for it to cool down still but someday when I'm able to also I was thinking like could I just refrigerate this real quick and like have it cool down faster because I don't want to have to wait for like two hours for it to cool down you know especially like I'd be fine with doing that in real life but since I'm doing it on a stream like I just don't have the time to stream for another three hours you know I wish that was my wallpaper in my house. <laughs> hey, you could do it. Invisibility patch. Yeah, Sandra, I'm glad you got a kick out of, out of it. No, Craig. No, we don't have gravity. Wait, so Jesse, how did yours come out? Because I think you said that you were cooking along with me, right? I'm just scrolling back to the comments and Sandra said she never knew she could crochet blueberries. The blue in the top left doesn't look like it's pruned. Let's see, is it this guy or is it this one? Doesn't look so good. <laughs> Uh, so, of the cookers, bakers, people who know what they're doing, can I just stick this in the fridge to have it, help it, have it cool faster? Is that a thing? I haven't worn overalls since I was a kid. It's fluffy, it smells nice, but it looks awful because of the frozen blueberries. <laughs> oh, did, did it like really like leak out? Is it like more of like a purplish bread? Um, okay, so Marie Fu sent a $5 super chat. Thanks, Craig. I'll try this on the weekend. Got to get back to work. Well, thank you for popping in. Thanks for leaving the super chat. I really appreciate that, Marie. And I hope you tag me on Instagram if you, if you do make this. All of you guys, if you guys make this, um, definitely tag me on Instagram so I can see it. And uh, a virtual vegan. She's, that's the recipe who I, that I stole it from. So if she has an Instagram, then try tag her. But thank you. Thanks again. Uh, Jennifer Allison, a $5 super chat. There's something so comforting and likable about you. Uh, you're kind of like the Tom Hanks of the vegan world. Thanks for all your great videos. Well, I don't know about that, but thanks, Jennifer. And thanks for the super chat. I do appreciate that. All the super chats that you guys send just going right back into the channel. So um, thank you. It's going back into this channel and Hercules channel because I use the same equipment for both channels, really. <laughs> but thanks again for all the super chats, guys. Really do appreciate that. 
I've made a lemon drizzle loaf, uh, but never with the blue. Okay, so you guys didn't say that I couldn't put this in the fridge, so so I'm just gonna go do it. Yes, it's purplish brown and not as beautiful as yours. Yeah, so um, the main reason I didn't want to do frozen ones because I do have frozen ones uh, is because it said that it would take longer, and I was just like, okay, if I'm doing a live stream, like I don't want it to take forever. Um, because, you know, if I'm already planning on doing a live stream usually for about like an hour and a half, two hours or so. I don't want to drag out to like four hours or something, you know. I think that you guys would probably, you know, lose interest after a while, too. <laughs> All right. Let's put this in the fridge. Get out some corn on the cob. All right, all right, all right. Oh, let me move this. No, the fridge. <laughs> Wait, why not put it in the fridge? You guys got to tell me why. Can't just say no. It will get soggy. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta wait until tomorrow, basically, before I can glaze it. Soggy and ugly. Oh, okay. Gummy and yucky. Soggy and ugly. You guys have good descriptions. I'm late, but it looks so pretty. Yeah, yeah. It, it is really nice. I guess as long as you don't refrigerate it. No to the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> sog, sog. <laughs> um, so the people on here. So I remember, I think, Albert Einstein, you were asking me about Skyrim earlier. Um, are there any games? Because... I was talking to Chris. I've been saying this for a long time. We never actually did it. But I was telling Chris we should do a live stream of us playing Risk. Um, or maybe like any other games that you guys can think of. Um, yeah, I think it would be fun to stream with other people. Um, but as far as just like streaming by myself, um, I, I find it like if I'm just playing by myself, I feel more stressed out than relaxed. And usually if I play video games, I like to relax. Um, but I think it would be kind of fun to, I think it would be fun to play CTR streaming that. I think that would be fun. That, I have that on Xbox. So, maybe I'll do that. Someday. Maybe I could do, like, on, because uh, I do have a Twitch channel, but I don't really do that. Skyrim has a multiplayer mod that's, that's all I've got to say. Really? What do you do for multiplayer mod? Do, is it, like, uh, co-op or something like that? I'd definitely play with you, Wajita, if you wanted to. Um, Jennifer L. sent a $2 super chat. You can put a fan in front of it to cool. Oh, thank you, Jennifer Hell. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the sage advice. You a smart, smart woman. You're a smarter woman than I am. I'm not a very smart woman. I'll have to move up. All right. Now that now I can hit it from the the window fan. Hola, Craig. Hola, Rockabye baby. Glaze it warm, it'll be good. It said to glaze it while it was cool. It said to let the whole thing cool while, um, like, before you cut into it and before you glaze it. Oh, Jane sent a $20 super chat. Craig, you can glaze it if it's warm, just not fresh out of the oven. Okay, well, thank you again for the advice. Uh, and also thank you for the super chat. Like Jane, you're a very generous woman, so thank you. And a great moderator and a good internet friend. So thank you. All right, we will get to the glazing. Oh, the bottom's still quite warm. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, so since you guys can't see, that would be a trad. Tragedy, if you couldn't see it. Okay, let's move this back a little bit. All right. So as you can still see what you guys are saying. I will try this with a fork. Let's 
see how it goes. If it don't go so goodly, I'll use a spoon and see if that hopefully goes a little bit more goodly. Okay, I don't think this is, yeah, this, <laughs> I'm going to need the spoon. <laughs> it do be tasting good, though. Mm. I might have made it a little bit runny, but you know what? This is my first time, okay? Okay, that's probably enough. Not too much. Looks scrumptious. Yeah. Kind and generous. Yeah, that's Jane. <laughs> All right. Now I guess we wait. I'll wait. Uh, I don't know if I can wait any more than 15 minutes, even if it's not cool enough. So we'll just uh, set a timer for 15 minutes. And you know what? If it's done, it's done. If not, well, we tried. And by we tried, I mean, didn't really try that hard. You got impatient. All right. Let's see what we can yeah, so then you guys can see me and the bread. <laughs> but I still want it to be able to hit by the fan. It was out of powdered sugar. Yeah, so I was out of the powdered sugar. Um, and I think I put in just a little bit too much lemon juice, but then I couldn't, couldn't change the consistency by adding um, sugar because I was out of it. Maybe you shouldn't try that hard, but you still try. <laughs> you can put regular sugar in the food processor to make powdered sugar. Oh, cool. Didn't know that. Now I know. Is that how they make it? Date walnut loaf. Is that a thing in America, too? I I don't know. Um, I've definitely made... Oh, yeah, that's just way too thin. There's, you can't even see the glaze. It's... <laughs> oh, well. Um, I tried. Uh, but... um. I definitely made banana date walnut pancakes before, and they were really good. You say bread, my brain sees a huge blueberry muffin. Yeah, it's basically what it is. Does it eat some? I can't stand the suspense. Um, yeah, so it's a 13 minutes, and then I'll try some. So you're going to have to be in suspense for 13 more minutes. I got some more water. Oh. Alright, someone said take the paper off so it can serve. Eh, I don't know. I just feel like the bread's gonna fall apart. I guess not. Uh, it is. I don't know. I. I don't want to risk having it fall apart on me because it's so beautiful right now. I feel it like molding around my fingers when I picked it up. Yeah, someone said back on the rack for circulation. Um, I think I already put the rack in there. It's just, I, just, I don't care that much. I'm being completely honest. <laughs> If I still had the rack right next to me, I'd probably use it. <laughs> uh, I need you to make something that doesn't require an oven or instant pot. I have a stove top, grill, or air fryer. Hmm. What could we do? We could maybe do like a tofu scramble next time. You guys want to do that? Does that sound good? I mean, then we could all do that and... I could do my recipe and you guys could do yours. Like if you have different uh, vegetables, 
you know, I think it'd still work out. I would probably do broccoli, peppers, onions, some seitan of some kind. And my hands are really sticky from picking up that loaf. Right, which way do I go like this? Okay. Where did I put the oh the great things right here? And more healthy. Yeah, definitely healthier than this, for sure. Scrambled no egg, yeah. Bacon do be like that. <laughs> yeah, so Bonnie, thanks for the idea. And yeah, I think it would be cool maybe do something a little bit different because I do use the oven and the Instant Pot a lot. So yeah, let's do something that Bonnie can make. So Bonnie, you better make it along with me, all right? Bonnie, you only know if you're still here, right? Comment if you're still here so I can see that you're going to hopefully make something with us, make some gumbo. Maybe next time. But I think we decided on tofu scramble. And I, I really do hope that a lot of people would make it along with me because you guys would have a week in advance to know about it. Um, I could even post about it tonight or something. Have you ever made a chickpea flour on the, I have. Bonnie, okay, you will, okay, cool. Yeah, so have you, how many of you guys have never made tofu scrambles? I'm gonna assume, as long as you guys are vegan anyway, I'm gonna assume that probably 90% of vegans have had a tofu scramble. Um, but I know probably like 50%, maybe 40% of my audience is not vegan actually. Or he will get mad and not do anything about it. Tawny, you know me too well. <laughs> tofu scramble is the best, and yeah, so versatile, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it'd be fun to um, to just make a tofu scramble knowing that like 10, 15 other people are making one right now too, you know? Cool. I have. But was it done well? <laughs> all right, Wajita, you you have to make one too, all right? That's the law. Stop right there, criminal scum. All right, only Wajita and a couple other people will get that reference. Well, if you play the board game. Do you use black salt? Yeah, if I want to make it like taste eggy, then yeah. Show. <laughs> they have the whole magic of CB thing there. Yeah. Spring roll sounds good. I did buy tofu to try it, but that's as far as I got. <laughs> Dang, well, I'm not trying to have my stolen goods be forfeit, yeah. <laughs> All right, so tofu scramble it is then. So we'll be making tofu scramble next time. We've got seven and a half minutes left. I would love the scramble. I have never made it. Oh, really? Okay, cool. I've made quite a few tofu scrambles in my day. Uh, Jane sent a $2 super chat. Uh, do you take a pick of the glorious loaf? I did not. Um, just, you know, some live streaming with you guys. Um... Maybe I will after. Actually, before I cut into it, I just want to show you guys one last time. Oh, okay, it's sliding, so I got to hold it with my thumbs. <laughs> but it's beautiful. And thank you for the super chat, by the way, Jane. Wait a minute, that's a moist loaf. <laughs> um, I can't eat soy, no tofu here. So. Um, if you wanted to, there is a company, if you wanted to cook along with us and if you, and if you could find this tofu in time, 
there is a tofu made from pumpkin seeds that is completely soy free and it tastes feels exactly like tofu i i think it's called pumfu um so i'm just gonna type that in p p u m f u pumfu um i think that's what it is so if you did want to do it along with us even if you're allergic to soy you can use that pumpkin seed tofu That'd be so sad if it slid off onto the floor. Yeah. Uh, after this much time and effort, I would still eat it. I don't care. I want to try that pump food. Yeah. It, uh, <laughs> that's how the dreaded M word. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, it tastes just like tofu. Like, I'm, if you, if you haven't tried it and you can eat tofu, like, you're not really missing anything because it tastes just like it. Um, but if you are allergic to soy, then I would definitely suggest pump food. I do want to try the other recipes. I have watched them, but I don't have an oven or instant pot. My friends, my friend lets me use hers, but it's about finding time. Yeah. A firm tofu squished and marinated. Yeah. Um, Kara and I have been having marinated tofu in our salads uh, pretty much every night for dinner. It's been really, really good. Uh, gotta make sure you know I'm even, you know? M O I S T is the way to be. <laughs> Paul, why, why are you so funny all the time? I don't I don't get it. How how do you do it? I don't know why you don't have a YouTube channel. You'd be a pretty funny have a pretty funny YouTube channel. Although I think I checked out I think you do have a couple of videos or did have a couple of videos. the word moist doesn't trigger anyone. Moist. Alright, it's not focusing on me. I don't know why. Maybe it's been focusing on the bread. Huh. Anyway. It looks so weird looking at the screen because uh, on the back of the camera, like, it's not actually as zoomed in. I zoomed it in on the program. And it's also, like, when I look through the camera back, it's just, um, it's just green in the back. There's no blueberries. His name is Paul. Yeah, no, I know. Oh, so I didn't, I haven't been using the name Paul because I know some people when they have um, some people when they have a, a, another name like Wajita, maybe they don't want the other person to use their actual name, you know. But uh, let's see. Tawny May sent a three dollar super chat sticker of a paragon and thumbs up. So thanks, Tawny. I appreciate that. <laughs> I got three and a half minutes left, and we can try this loaf with the glaze that probably made it a little bit soggy. As long as you're giving up my full name, it's fine. Okay. All right, Paul. Yeah, because I, I do like uh like Linda. Um, her her name is uh, that girl from OKC, but she's okay with me calling her Linda. So I right, will call you Paul from now on, Linda. <laughs> Seems appropriate since the pair is also wearing a sweatband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got the. So I asked you guys on Instagram what I should buy, and a lot of you guys uh, recommended junk brands. So I got them, and I uh, like them. I got like uh, this blue and orange one, and I got another green one. Maybe I should put the green one on and see if my uh, headband just disappears. It's like a gradient of disappearing. We'll see. We'll see. See, did it disappear at all? Uh, a little, I think. Let's see. No, not at all. No, it does a little bit. On top of my head. I'm Daniel. If you haven't figured that out yet, <laughs> I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. Okay. All right. Rock my baby. I'll call you Laura. And Daniel's name is Daniel. Okay. Another minute and a half.
<laughs> I could reach out and grab a blueberry. <laughs> He's evolving into a bloob. <laughs> not properly green yeah it's um it's like green on top and then it fades down to like navy blue because i just got like one of the there's a couple different um designs but this is like a i got the two that were like gradients like there's a gradient of orange to blue and then green to like navy blue My real name is not Sensible Crime. It would have made school pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. If only had a green shirt. Next stream, we can watch you do laundry. <laughs> yeah, if only I had Wi-Fi down the basement. <laughs> Late to the party, but my name is not Bonnie. Really? Okay. That's interesting. Bonnie. Bonnie. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beep. Beep. Shut it. All right. Let's get a cutting board and a bread knife. Going to cut her open. I don't even care about this bread's feelings. I'll tell you what. The moment you've all been waiting for. Maybe I'll do it like this so you guys can sort of see it being cut. Cut nicely. Wait. I'll try this, see if this works. How's this look? Ah! It's invisible! <laughs> That's so cool. I just get everything green. Get a green fork, green knife, or my green soup. And then it'll just be like the food is just floating. It really does look like the, the bread is floating, though. It really do be looking like that. The icing, yeah, I already put the icing on. It was just a little runny, so it's very see-through. <laughs> mm -hmm. I approve this recipe. <laughs> Water up that bread. Out of ten, how is it, Craig? Mm -hmm. Hold on. It could be better if I didn't make my my icing as bunny. I think I've had more icing because we did run out of sugar, so we didn't have as much icing as it would be usually. But with all those things considered, I would probably give it ten out of ten. Ten out of ten vegan. Would recommend this recipe. Oh no, come on. Hmm. 
<laughs> you need oatmeal for that. Soy milk is actually my favorite. But is it good? Mm hmm. I would have to say so, Paul. I L O B E oatmeal. <laughs> Ooh, he's a critic. <laughs> <laughs> um, Paul and Albert, do you guys play games on PC or Xbox? Or, well, I guess there's other options, but those are the two that I have, PC and Xbox. <laughs> oh, Jennifer L. sent me $5 super chat. Can you imagine what we'd all be doing during this corn and beans if we didn't have the internet? It gives me more respect for the people back in 1918. Yeah, for real. Like, it's great that we have the internet, that we can like connect like this, even like when we're all quarantined and stuff. It, uh, it's really nice. It, it's better for me too. Like, I, obviously, it's good for you guys to be able to like watch stuff, but it's fun for me to make stuff. Um, and then also when I get to connect with you guys, like I, I get to like hold a conversation with like 200 people at a time, like that's awesome. So I am very grateful for having you guys here with me during this whole quarantine. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoy my live streams and videos and stuff. Um, I have an idea for the next video that I'm going to be shooting. Um, and I already started another video. So videos will be coming out definitely. And I'll still be doing live streams every uh, Friday. So thank you again, Jennifer, for the the thoughtfulness and the super chat. What are the cool video games to play now? <laughs> I don't really play any like uh, current video games. I've been told that I should try The Witcher 3. I always go back to Skyrim. Um, Assassin's Creed um, Odyssey is really good, but that came out a couple of years ago now. The Paperweight Station 4. I don't get much use these days. I want to get a good PC just to get back into Skyrim. Well, I mean, the good news is, though, like, um, so Skyrim's a role-playing game. It's kind of like mid medieval, not even medieval, medieval, like, um, mid it's like, uh, yeah, I guess it'd be like medieval fantasy, but it's like with magic and dragons and stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty fun, though. Um, but yeah, that's, I, from what I understand, I think that's kind of like what The Witcher is, although I think The Witcher has better storyline from what I've heard from other people. But what I was saying, Paul, with my mouthful of food, is that since the game came out in 2011, um, you should be able to get a PC that um, will run it that doesn't really cost that much. Like my, my laptop um, was $1,000, and that runs it just fine. <laughs> what is Skyrim? My early teens, that's what it is. Yeah, that Skyrim was my late teens. It was, uh, yeah, I think I was like 19, 20 when I first started playing it. Although I was late to the, I think I was late. No, it came out like a couple months before I got it. I got my cop, my first copy of Skyrim off of Craigslist in a Dunkin' Donuts parking lot for 20 bucks. It was when I was still like walking around with like um, forearm crutches, so my dad uh, took me in his minivan to the Dunkin' Donuts parking lot that we said that we'd meet at, and um, some kid walk up to my car and he's like, "All right, here's the game." I said, "All right, here's twenty bucks," and then we went our separate ways. <laughs> have you ever played RuneScape? I have not. Mario Kart. So I've played Mario Kart, but I prefer Crash Team Racing. And if any of you guys have Xbox, I will play you on Xbox Live and Crash Team Racing, and I'll probably win. I'm pretty good at Crash Team Racing. I first got it from your uncle. Cool. Sounds like a cool uncle. Hey, Craig, big hugs. Well, you two kitty cats. I should not eat any more of this loaf. Are you going to cosplay as Crash Bandicoot for Halloween? I don't even know I'm going to be for Halloween. I hope we're not quarantined during Halloween. 
That would be a like the worst Halloween ever. All dressed up and nowhere to go. Maybe I'd do a Halloween live stream. Yeah, I wonder what would happen if like uh yeah, I wonder if um trick or treating is gonna be like a thing this year. It's weird to think about. Also, do you guys do have trick or treating people who live in Europe? Do you guys have trick or treating? Is that just an American thing? I'm old enough to remember when Pong came out. Yeah, my dad is too. He uh, he played Pong when he was growing up. I'm over here browsing spring roll ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas is my favorite. I think I like um, Christmas and Thanksgiving a lot. Um, the Last of Us is awesome. So I that's I haven't played it. I'm just reading someone's comment. Um, is that like a post-apocalyptic game? I've I've seen it advertised and I've seen like people playing it on YouTube recently a lot. Virtual trick or treating. Now that's scary. Oh, you know what? Maybe like. You know what would be fun? If, like, we all like maybe took an, a month or two in advance. We're just like, all right, it's gonna be, we're gonna be quarantined. Why don't we all write some scary short stories and then you guys could submit them and then I could read them. And then we could just all be like reading some spooky short short stories. I think it'd be fun. Um, like I I was listening to um, Jenna and Julian podcast, um, was you know back around October, and they were reading some from Reddit, and they were like, I was listening to some of them, and I was literally like getting goosebumps. I was like, this is freakier than any movie I've ever <laughs> I've ever watched. Just like hearing these short stories. I remember when cable TV was new, yeah. The trick part of trick or treat, so I think, well, I mean, I don't encourage this, but I think it's like when people are like TP people's houses or trees and stuff. I watched the podcast with one of the skinwalkers. This was that what it was? I remember the one that um, freaked me out the most. I think was like when they had a cabin in the woods, and the the girl kept thinking that like she heard her father's voice or something like that. So like she went outside, and uh, I don't remember exactly what happened. It was a while ago, and I think they actually took that down um, because the people who um, the people who wrote them were like, I don't necessarily know if I want you reading my stuff on a podcast where you're making money from the ads or something like that. So they took it down because there was a copyright, whatever, gray area. So that was unfortunate because it was really, really good. I don't know where I'd be able to find that story again. Maybe that's what it was, those skinwalkers. <laughs> Right up my alley, I'm a paranormal channel. Yeah, I, I, Laura, I checked out your channel actually um, before Rockabye Baby. It like it looked like it was like creepy videos and stuff. So yeah, if you guys do like creepy stuff or um, uh, if you like creepy stuff and like paranormal stuff, then definitely check out Rockabye Baby's channel. Rockabye Baby, if you want to like leave a comment again, I don't know if you can leave a link to your channel uh, unless you're a moderator. I could make you here I'll add you as a moderator and then anyone who's into like spooky stuff now Rockway baby you should be able to share your channel in the, the comments um, just so people can find your channel and find some spooky stuff if that's what they're into ah, my toes <sighs> Vegeta says, there once was a man who spent four hours baking cookies. Then he realized he forgot the baking soda. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to the Mod Squad. <laughs> ah, my leg. My leg. I always think of, like, in SpongeBob, when there's, like, this one character, whenever there's, like, an explosion or anything, like, there's something bad in the town, you just hear in the background this one character just yell, my leg. 
Um, there's actually a compilation of that on YouTube, so check that out. Um, Jennifer L. sent another $5 super chat. Once a month, you should have people submit their original vegan recipes, and then whatever you like best, you make it during a live chat. Oh, that'd be cool. It's a cool idea. And thank you for the super chat, by the way. Thank you for the idea. Thank you for all of that. And maybe, yeah, maybe we'll do that. That's not a bad idea, because I do like doing, like, interactive stuff where, like, you guys can contribute to it, you know? How many likes does that fish have? Two, I think. I, you know, you could hurt your leg, and then it heals, and then you hurt your leg again. Have you ever seen Teen Girl Squad? No, I haven't. Is that a show? <clears throat> so... I think this is probably cool enough. Although it's nice to have the fan on. It was really good. There you go. All right. Yeah. So there is Rock by Baby's channel. So if you guys like spooky stuff, paranormal stuff, definitely check out her channel. Like I said, I've checked it out. Um, like I said, I have checked it out in the past. So it is. I've seen some spooky stuff on there. Do you like kayaking? Yeah. I don't have a pack, but I like it. Cartoon series is pretty funny. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I had a, um, if I had room to put a kayak, I would probably have a kayak, but I don't have a place to put a kayak right now. So maybe someday if I move, Teen Girl Squad was a throwback. Absolutely hilarious. Okay. Also, oh, it's, uh, it's not like a current one, it's like a previous one. Too spoopy for you. How does the loaf turn out? I just got here. Uh, loaf is pretty good. Um, I made the glaze a little bit too thin, so you can't even see it, although it's totally on there. Um, but it's good, though. I, I definitely like it. Not very healthy, so I'm not going to have another slice. I would love to have another slice, but I'm not going to. Um, but it do be smelling good, though. Um, but you know what? We've been streaming for about two and a half hours, so I think I'm going to do what little I have left of cleaning up, although there still is a decent amount of stuff for me to do. Not a whole lot of dishes and cleaning up for me to do, um, but I still have to put away like all the gear. Like I have like my both my tripod, my webcam, my camera, this light. I put the chair back, put the green screen back, just so it'll, it'll take a little bit, and I got to set up for um, when Kara comes home. We're, we've been making salads every night, so you know, it's getting all the salad stuff prepped so um thank you everybody who came to this live stream remember tofu scramble next week so i'm probably gonna be doing tofu onions peppers maybe some broccoli and like some greens like some spinach i think would be really good um you could do whatever you want to do though um but the main thing that i found that really helps um tofu scrambles i oh look over here because my spices are over here uh the main thing i found uh tofu scrambles that makes them a lot better is like really just like putting on tons of spice um maybe not like you can maybe put on like four or five different spices but just putting on a lot of every single one except for turmeric i only put turmeric in for color um because if you put too much turmeric in it starts tasting like feet but i usually do like uh, nutritional yeast smoked paprika garlic powder onion powder black salt at the end maybe a little bit of black pepper and a tiny bit of turmeric just for color um but uh yeah i hope to see you guys next Friday. Um, I don't think I'll have a video coming out this week, but I think I'll probably have one coming out the following week and hopefully the week after that. Um, but I'm probably going to do a video of uh, what me and my family eat and do on uh, 4th of July. So, All right. Thanks for coming to the stream. Thanks for donating everyone who uh, donated your super chats and stuff. Thanks for everyone else who donated their time. Thank you for all the moderators who were super helpful. And I will see you guys next Friday.